was working with a customer the other day, and they wanted to do that old income statement. You know, the thing where it's kind of organized in a hierarchy, and you've got labels, and you've got totals, and you've got indentions. The beautiful thing about using the normal out-of-the-box table is you can't do most of what you need for income statements. So what do we do? Well, one of the first things that you need to learn in order to be able to do indentions or any um, outline type format so that we could have leading spaces is what you need to change in the code. There's a variable that you can set called verbatim. If you set verbatim equal to one, that's going to say load in those leading spaces for you. And then what you can do in your table, just a normal table object, is change the description. And what you want to do is replace your spaces with a char 160. And all that's going to do is say, hey, Mr. Table Object, I know you're going to strip my leading spaces from me, but at least the verbatim set allowed me to read them in. And I can replace those with a ch an ASCII character 160 and then the table object will display it just like it would a space so that you can have your indentions. As you know, when you're dealing with a normal table object, you get no coloring, no font types. At least with the value, um, you can set, when we're dealing with the values, we can set colors. Um, so I can play a little bit with the background color, the text colors, and things like that. But I can't do any of that for um, dimension fields. But I need the dimension field to be a dimension, not a measure, so that I can click on it. So what's a poor guy to do? I need a really pretty income statement. The out-of-the-box table object doesn't do it for me. So what do I do? Well, you can see here on the screen it says invalid visualization. This visualization wasn't found on the server. DPI simple table. If I were to look in my charts, sure enough, I don't see my simple table object. Does that mean I got a bad install from Click? No, the simple table is an extension object. If you haven't used extensions yet, I'd like to point this out for you. This is a phenomenal one. So how do we get those things? Well, we're just going to go out to Click Branch. So I'm going to bring this up. I'm just going to go out to the website branch.click.com. That's branch.click.com. And what's going to do is let me download extensions that I can plug in and I can add um, flexibility to my application. A lot of these are visuals, but there are other things. Let's see what this is on the, on the banner today. Application on demand. Oh, I better stay focused on what I'm doing. I, I don't want to get distracted by the fact that somebody's built an extension that lets me pass parameters to another application, reload data on the fly. That's that's for another day. We're going to go to the Projects tab here, and I'm simply going to look for Simple Table. Now, if ever there's been a name that doesn't do an object justice, it's this one, the Simple Table with Link Detection. This is an object that was built by one of my colleagues, Daniel Pila, and I'm, and I'm going to show you how we're going to take this thing and download it and then install it so that we can take advantage of what this is going to do for us. I'm simply going to click on this link here that's going to go to GitHub. And all GitHub is is a place for people who are doing open source coding to post their applications so that if you wanted to, you could then branch off of this thing and hence the branch. Um, part of branch.click.com, I could copy that branch off and then make enhancements to what Daniel's done. In this case, I'm just going to download this zip file. And like anything normal for the web, it's establishing a connection. It's going to download that file, and that file is going to go to my downloads directory. If I refresh, we can see it finished the download, and it's got a sense images link extension master zip file. So let me show you how we're going to install this for our sense desktop. I'm simply going to go ahead and close sense desktop for the second. I'm going to take this zip file. I'm going to expand it 
So I've opened it up and now I have this file folder. I'm going to go over to my documents for sense for extensions and if you take a look at this path this would be under your users your name my documents click sense extensions and I'm going to take this folder that was in the zip so this is all I'm doing is taking the zip I'm opening it up I'm going to drag that folder out and I copy it to my extensions directory now the beautiful thing is when I open up sense desktop now that object's going to be available to me. So, don't care about any of these. We're looking at this extensions demo application. I'm going to go to this page, and you see this object is now available to me. And if I were to look over here, I would see this as a simple table with links. Now, what does this do for me? Because it's just a simple table. Well, the beautiful thing about this is it allows me to do all kinds of HTML things. I'm going to edit this and show you what I've done. So this description field that normally I can't do anything with in a normal table, I can now do font scripting. I can say, hey, I'd like to have this bolded. More importantly, you see this underline here. This is going to be crazy. What I've done here is I've said, hey, if my description is a total line, then I want you to do some bolding, some HTML stuff. If I had a description, this gets a little bit complicated here. I'm going to take that description. I'm going to take the spaces, just those leading spaces, and I'm going to replace it with the HTML space character. So that's all I'm doing, and I'm outputting those spaces separately. Then I'm going to take, if the line that I had had a URL in it, yes, this thing can have links that you could click on. I'm going to demonstrate that in a second. If there's a URL for this row, I want you to add the HTML tag that would give me the reference and give me the target blank, which means open in a new window. Then I want you to output the description without the spaces in them because I've already output the leading spaces. I just don't want that stuff underlined if I have an HTML link. If I had that, I'm going to close that up. And then I'm going to say, hey, if the description had a total, I need to end my bolding. So you could use any HTML stuff in here. And believe it or not, you can also put JavaScripting in here. This, this object is very, very cool. For my value field, this you'll see I've created it as a dimension purposefully to show you that. So if I wanted to click on any of these, I could select values. So I could select all 30s or all 40s. Um, and you'll see what I've done is a little bit more HTML stuff. I've said, hey, if the value is less than zero, I want you to have the text color be white, but the background color be the same reddish color that click generates for its table. And oh, by the way, I wanted it to be aligned right so that it would show up a little bit nicer. And so what I have is now an outlined object. It could be for income statements, balance sheets, or anything that you really have that's hierarchical that you want to be indented almost like a tree. And you can control the coloring. You can control some font stuff so you can bold things. You could have things underlined like I did with my five. It's a negative five. I've color coded it and underlined it as you see. And oh yeah, I have the added adventure. I can actually pop up links. Oh, gee, I wonder how that URL managed to pop into my ClickDork page. Hey, so the beautiful thing, and like I say, that is a dimension so that we filter down to paper. So if I want to go into all the journal entries and stuff for that, I can do it. We don't need that. I'm going to undo that. But you can see the benefit of using extensions. So the, the key things we wanted to learn today were about using the set verbatim equals one so that you can load those spaces and how to take advantage of this really phenomenal, simple table with links that Danielle Peel has built for you. Have fun.